Hey guys, Jerry here. Welcome back to Greg Tech. As you can see, we are dressed completely in the proper way for doing any sort of gardening. If you're not wearing a full hazmat suit whenever you're gardening at home, you're doing it wrong. With that out of the way, uh, let us get started on today's agenda because, first of all, this thing. I have no idea what this is. Um, it's obviously not fully grown yet, but it's here and I don't know what it is. Um, it's. It looks interesting. I'm gonna. I thought last a bit with some seeds here and see if it ends, uh, in, ends up growing up uh, to become something useful. Um, it looks like some sort of mushroom, but I honestly don't know what kind of mushroom, and it's growing quite slowly. So I also had a bunch of weeds basically take over the entire lower half of the field here, so I've had to replant everything, and I've unfortunately lost the dye plants I had over here. Um, I never managed to get a seed from them. So that's sad. Very sad. Much sad. But I've set up a couple of new crossbreeds and hopefully something will come out of it. So there's that. Now, last time, we managed to get the uh, vacuum freezer up and running. And I promised that we were going to be doing some tungsten steel this episode. And I'm going to try my best to keep up with that promise. But there is an issue with it. And that is, um, as you probably saw on that sign I placed there as a reminder to myself, this stuff. If, if you want to melt this together with steel, um, you need... A lot more power than I have. You need 500, 500 energy units per tick. That's more than I have. It's a lot more than I have. Um, or it's it's not more than I have in this thing out here, but it is it is more than I have going to this thing. So either I need to make a direct line from the mainland downstairs, or I need to make another MFE to put in somewhere in between um, instead of this thing, for instance. Um, the MFE, of course, if we just quickly find a recipe for it. It needs four energy crystals, which means I need another 16 ruby dust. Gah. I don't have 16 ruby dust. So, I have four. So that's going to be postponed a bit, but at the very least we can make the transformer up upgrade so this thing can actually accept the increased voltage, and then we'll just hook it in directly to the main line and try not to run any other main machines whenever we're using this. So... What we need to make is the transformer upgrade, which is why I had the train FR. Transform. Transfer. This one. Transformer upgrade. So we need two gold cables, we need an MV transformer, a circuit. And I actually think I have most of this stuff on me right now. So let's see if we can make it. No? Guess we'll have to put in the recipe manually. There, there, and five glass. There we go, transformer upgrade. So, if we right click on this thing, with this thing, it should now, um, like it doesn't show anywhere, but I think if we pick it up, it might show that it has the upgrade on it. But anyway, we know for a fact we just applied a transformer upgrade to it. So, if we hook up a higher voltage to this thing, it should not blow up. Now, I'm really scared, actually, because I did not um, take a back up of the world right before recording this. So I actually don't know what would happen if we if it did blow up. It would be quite, quite horrible. Uh, so I'm just going to assume that everything's going to be alright. <laughs> Balls to the wall. Let's do this. Um, we are, at the moment, cooking some tungsten dust in here. I don't know if we want to wait for this recipe to finish here. Uh, just so we don't, you know, blow it up mid-recipe. I think that would be rather sad. I think we're going to do that. So let us instead quickly go out and... I don't know, do something else. Let's see, what do we have? I have the nuke running at the moment, so we're building up a bit of power. I figure that's... Um, if we are going to make a bunch of tungsten steel, it's good to have enough power in there. Do we actually have anything here on that we can start it on? We have to... Now this is all stuff like... This is an ongoing, this is ongoing, this is something we could do, I guess. All this other stuff is pretty much ongoing, so... We do have the electric uh, engine inside that need an upgrade. Which, in order to make those upgrades, we need, first of all, we need a soldering iron. And we also need... 
Uh, we need, I think this one, yeah. So carpenter, bronze, iron, a bit of water. Yeah, we can do that. That's a start at least. So let's see, three iron ingots, one bronze, and a bucket of water. We have all this uh, set up over here, um, so everything in that sense should be fine. Let's grab some from the fountain here. Jump on the wall, uh, the, the hedges rather. Jump on the walls. So let's see, carpenter. Clear recipe. Pour in water. Make soldering iron. Power. Of course my battery here is empty. That's fantastic. Just what I needed. Alright. Let us... Still not done. Swap in the battery then. Get a fresh one going. Now, the the reason we need the soldering iron is that we need to make uh, these uh, the forestry circuits. And these circuits, uh, the way they work, is that you attach... Um, let's just quickly find one here. Now you make the circuit itself in the carpenter with uh, various recipes. I think we need the intricate one, the the most expensive one. So that needs water, it needs redstone and gold. And then on this thing, you need to put these. Uh, what, what, where are they again? These guys, uh, the tin electron tubes and whatnot. And basically, these different electron tubes they have a different effect. Some of them throttles the output. Some of them increases the output significantly, um, others make it more efficient, and really, like which one you need depends on what exactly you want to achieve with your circuit board. So, for instance, um, if we want to just get the maximum possible power out of one of these intricate ones, there are two of them uh, that actually increase the power. One of them increases the MJ output by one, and one of them increases it by two. And since you can only have, there's a rule that you can only have two identical uh, tubes on at one time. So you would need to, to have two, I think, bronze and two tin, maybe, something like that. And then put them on an intricate, and then you would have a uh, one electrical engine outputting, I think, what, that's four, five, six, seven, eight microjoules per tick, and it would consume like 45 uh, EU per tick. So that's one way to make that work. All right, we got this way done. But in order to make these electron tubes here, you need the fermi fermionic fabricator. Now this thing uses Minecraft jewels in order to melt glass, and then you have the shape here, and then it'll make the electron tubes uh, and melt the glass around it. And this thing, if you want to operate it reliably, you pretty much need constant power to it, because it cools down again. So, yeah. But, the recipe for this... What's this? Fabricator. Sturdy casing, bit of gold, some glass in the chest, so that's easy enough. And then we can also get the... What should we call it? The uh, re ingredients for the um, the circuit board. So we need seven gold thereabouts, we need six redstone. We needed... Eight sturdy casings. We need a chest. That's in here. And that should be enough. So let's see here. First of all, the chest. Then study casing. Then the machine itself. And then I need to quickly look up what uh, the uh, different um, tubes, uh, electron tubes are. So I'll do that in just a quick moment here. All right. So I got the data here. Um, the bronze electron tubes increase the output by four microjoules, and the tin increase them by two. So if you want the best possible engine. Um, we need two bronze and two tin. So if we look up electron tube here quickly, we can see bronze needs, what, five bronze ingots to redstone, and you make four of them, so that's fine, and tin, same recipe, five, tin, and two redstone. So one, two, three, four, five, and five. All right, so if we go back over here, we should uh, I think I had some sand over there as well, yeah, for melting the glass. So with the setup we have over here, I should be able to set up the fermionic fabricator. Let's just do it up here. So, first of all, carpenter. We need an intricate circuit board. Like, I'm just going to make the best possible end we can do here. So for this, we need some water. 
Again, fountain here is rather convenient. We also have the downstairs water source, but uh, I, I don't know which is closer. Put that in there, that can start working. Then we need the gla uh, sand, glass, whatever, out of them. Toss that in here. And that should start heating up, if I'm not completely mistaken. Again, we don't have a lot of power going to it here. We only have like a really weak electrical engine. I don't actually know if that's even enough to use this thing. I think I'm gonna uh, pick this one up again. Just so we can get the carpenter done and then only only use one machine at a time. Maybe we should just move this into the... Uh, where we have the uh, the other two engines. We'll see. But at the very least we can make the intricate circuit board and we have the soldering iron as well which uses durability every single time we try and change one of these circuit boards and basically when you add something to a circuit board you add it for good unless you want to del delete it completely. So that's that. Um, but yeah the whole fermi fermionic fabricator thing I think we might need more power than this thing actually produces so <laughs> um, we'll see. I, I can go pick up an extra electric engine and we can just um, basically disconnect the carpenter once we have this thing done. Ah, lovely food. Lovely canned food. Let's see, is this thing done yet? You done yet? Yes, you are. Alright, so this means we should be able to... ...without blowing this thing up, since we put in the transformer. And basically, the transformer increases it by one tier, so it should... At the moment, it can accept 128, or it could. But since one tier higher is... Um, 512, that should be fine, and 512 is what we have running along downstairs. So if I'm not completely mistaken, the machine should be right above the here. Yes, it is. So if we take this... Moment of truth. Did it blow up? I don't hear any explosions. So... No blowing up yet. We got five tungsten. Let's put five steel here. It's working! It is working! Yes! Fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, basically, the only issue is that with the setup I have now, I can't use anything else while this thing's running. Because that'll end up costing um, some of the, the energy use in it. Or some of the... Uh, it'll end up using some of the packet power so that the machine will not get enough power. So basically I have to shut down the entire workshop before I use it, as it is right now. There are a couple of ways around that. One of them is making the MFE, as I've mentioned before, but I need more ruby dust for that, so... That's not an option. Alright, intricate circuit board is done, so let's pick up this pipe. So we're not... directing anything in the wrong... direction. And then I need to get my sands because it keeps going into this digger's backpack. Oh yeah, you can see it's actually building up temperature this time. Um, so basically whenever we're, we're splitting the power because we don't have that much power, uh, we just end up wasting too much of it. So I am hoping that it doesn't look as though it has enough power to actually reach a high temperature. I'm gonna need to get another battery and another engine. Alright, let's do that. Good thing we're not really using the engines in here. So now with the um, the circuit boards, basically, you put them in an engine. And then if you want to keep the circuit board when you move the engine, you have to remove them first. And that means un unsoldering them and using a bit of durability in your soldering iron. But again, it's fine. It's all fine. Did I not bring a battery? I guess not. I guess I'm silly. Like that. That's stupid. Why did I bring a battery? And why did I throw it on the floor? Okay. Oh, oh, it actually... Oh yeah, of course, one steel and one tungsten gives us two ingots, because there's two ingots going in, so two ingots coming out. So I guess we can just quickly grab one more steel here and... No, we, we can't, because we're using that thing now, so we can't. Alright, good thing I caught myself there, because then we would have both of the machines just wasting power. Which is not fun. 
Alright, so you go in there. That should make you start working as well. So we got four Minecraft jewels per tick coming into this thing now. Will that be enough to heat it up? So to melt sand? Huh, <sighs> we'll see. Come on, thing. It is still climbing, so that's good. In the meantime, I guess we can make the recipe in here. Yes, it should reach the temperature. There we are. So we got one bronze electron tube. Or one set, and we got one set of tin. So we can turn these off again now. So this is basically all we need. So now we just need to... Uh, right click on this. Put in that. And then we can say bronze. There we are. So basically, output has now, for this um, circuit board here, has now been increased by 4, 8, 10, 12. So it, this would end up being an one electric engine with 14 Minecraft Joules output. However, the input energy, like I think the default is like 6 or 4 or something like that, has increased by, yeah, 30, 40, 40, 40, 44. So basically, it uses about 50 energy units per tick, and it outputs 14 or so. So, basically, this would make it a really good engine to um, to power this thing, but again, it's not something we can... Uh, it actually goes over there. Yeah, no fuel. But yeah, if we turn this thing on, this thing will just rocket ahead in, um, in crushing capabilities, so... I don't know, I'm gonna put in some cobblestone here and then see if our other machines are ready to uh for us to actually use some power over there. This thing's working, but it's only using 128, so that should still be enough in the pipe. But yeah, as you can see all this lovely tungsten steel here, we can actually start making really good tools with it. So hey, look at that. I managed to fill him in my promise. But I guess since we're not using the blast furnace now, we can pump this thing. So, yeah, 14 microjoules per tick. Again, I can't really see exactly how much it's using, but it is putting out a lot of energy. Like, if you, if you look at this speed compared to what it was before, this thing is powering ahead now. Again, it's not getting quite as much as it can possibly eat, but, again, this thing can eat an, an awful lot. Like, it's an, it's an absolute um, beast in terms of how much power it can use. <clears throat> but it is doing a pretty damn good job of it. Um, now the thing is, though, I'm not. This thing is not really efficient in any way, and I'm, and there are some things that, like I, had, I, f I think there are a couple of things that this thing does that the other one doesn't. Um, but I'm not really sure about it either. But in any case, um, us having this engine means now we have the capability of actually powering a quarry as well. Like, this thing can power a quarry. Um, 14 Minecraft Joules per tick. That's actually going to give a quarry a pretty nice speed. Um, I'm just going to turn it off again. But uh, just as a test, I think this is very successful. And again, it means we can power a quarry. We can make a quarry be absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm just wondering, um, with this tungsten steel we have here, can we potentially make an advanced drill? We can make the advanced saw. There's the advanced drill here. Free industrial diamonds, a data control circuit. Uh, we don't really have all that stuff yet. We do have a lithium battery we can use. Um, but free industrial diamonds, I'm not sure we have that yet. I have one. And I think I still have... Do I still have some diamond dust somewhere? We got the data control circuit, so we just need the free industrial diamonds. So the question is, should I just fabricate those quickly and then we can make the advanced drill and then we can use this old one to make the quarry? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, off camera, I'm just quickly gonna make the, the two extra industrial diamonds and then we can make the big, the big new drill. See you in a bit. Alright, I have managed to gather up the materials and now hopefully we can make the advanced drill. So if we drill... There we go, advanced drill. Now, 
Free industrial diamonds, data control circuit, a lithium battery of some sort, and four tons of steel plates. Now, because of course it uses a battery, the automatic fill-in thing can't actually do the recipe, but luckily it's a rather simple recipe, so let's have a look here. Advanced drill for quickly making holes, tier 1, plus 8 attack damage, that's actually a lot of damage. It's a pretty good weapon. Um, but, yeah, I guess we need to go and, you know, dig something with it to make sure that it's actually, you know, an upgrade for this old one here. Um, I don't know if you can actually upgrade this advanced drill, no you can't. And I also don't know if you can add any sort of... Let's just quickly check. There's no weeds in here. Nope. Is this thing actually grown up? Oh, we got some nice and brown mushrooms here, crossbred. Uh, we got this thing here, which is a new new plant of sorts. I think it's a green color plant, lamb color plant. And this, milk wort. Source of milk. Milk powder. Chocolate coins. Ah, very interesting. So I guess that's a way to, you know, grow milk without using cows. Fancy. Anyway, advanced drill. Let's let's find a way, a pl somewhere to dig a hole. Now this mine shaft here, it's it's seen a bit of everything. Um, a lot of stuff has happened down here. A lot of stuff hasn't happened down here as well. Um, there's really not a lot of diamonds, for instance, but there is a bunch of other shit. So let's see. There's a tunnel. Let's dig here. Oh, it has the the sound. Unlike the other one. Two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, it, it is faster. It's slightly faster. Let's see how much power. 750. 500. So two, 250 power for each. And this one is at 160. Goes down to 80. Did actually just accidentally dig a diamond without. Let's see, 400. So this one uses 180 power, this one uses, let's see, 250. It uses a bit more power per operation, but it does dig faster. And I found diamonds with it, so... <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how, how, that, how that counts. But um, it does dig faster, and I guess it can... St uh, like for stuff like obsidian, that, that matters a lot, that it digs just slightly faster. Um, but it also frees up the other one for use the quarry, and then I guess if we ever want to make the uh, the iridium drill, if we have like ever get the power for that. Let's see, there's one thing I need to know. Yeah, you cannot right click to place a torch with this thing. That does put it at a disadvantage compared to the other one. I, uh, I'll admit that happily. I really love that feature with the uh, the industrial craft two drill that you can just right click to place a torch. But again, at least we're not compromising our digging ability. Ooh, redstone. Let's get some fortune on this stuff. Redstone is so difficult to refine if you still touch it. Like, it just takes so much time to just get a, even a bit of stuff out of it, so I... I normally just... fortune it. Like, it's, I haven't actually found a lot of redstone in, in the area I live in, so... Finding a bit now is actually quite nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's going to be for this time. Uh, we got in our first, very first, uh, tool made out of um, tungsten and steel. And we got plenty of plates, and we can make plenty more. Um, so we can actually like get the entire tool set upgraded now. We can get... Um, see, what sort of tools do we actually have with it here? We have a, a wrench, which I never made. But this one, because it contains so much power, it actually could be very well worth it. The file doesn't matter much, saw doesn't matter much, but the advanced saw, again, that might be well worth it. Very simple recipe as well, I still have batteries. We got the drill already. Um, fluid pipes, I guess that's not really. But we do have uh, um, the ability to now make stuff like the plasma generator, the extruder. We can make basic tools with it, that doesn't really help much. Uh, I guess maybe a sword. How much does the damage do? 7 attack damage, that's actually less than the uh, the drill. Partly enough, but I guess you can enchant it, so that makes up for it. Um, there are a number of machines we can now make. We have the tungsten steel machine hull, which is needed for extruders and large gas gas turbines. And uh, 
Yeah, the last gas turbine and the extruder. The extruder is kind of, kind of a nice machine. Um, but yeah, pretty much like this. It, it appears that it can replace titanium in a lot of re uh, materials, or yeah, a lot of re um, a lot of re recipes. That's the that's the word I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. See it in your eyes. Also, apparently, we can make mixed metal ingots uh, a lot more efficiently efficiently now. So yeah, that's plenty of stuff to like ex explore now we, we, that we have access to the final tier of materials. Um, and if anything, we can get the quarry started. So that would be well worth it. And I actually think once we do get a quarry, I'm gonna put it over on the big mountain over there because, um, because why not? And because if if it's on top of a mountain, we can actually combine it with the uh, wind farm that we have set uh, set up over here. Basically. Wind power works best up the higher the higher up it is. So if we're on top of a giant mountain, then um, wind power would work quite nicely, and actually provide a lot of power um, all day round for um, for a quarry using one of the electric engines with the big uh, uh, circuit board upgrade. And we can pretty much have a quarry powering itself up there just by wind power and um, sending stuff into uh, I guess a series of chests over there, and we can go over and pick it up once in a while. But uh, again, that's for some time in the future. So until then, I'm Jerry, this has been Greg Tech, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!